It's time for a whole lot of hoopla. That's right. The Idaho Girls State Basketball Tournament tips all over the Treasure Valley today, and we've got your favorite team covered. And you can uh, check it out on the bottom of the screen. Scrolls, uh, the score is going to be scrolling by. Let's start at 5A, where the Valley View uh, girls and the Lewiston girls meet up in the Idaho Center. Valley View comes in with a record of 13 and 7, and the district top seed after upsetting Centennial. Last week, a ball game near the fourth. Lewiston's Tisha Phillips goes into the land of trees and comes away with a hoop and the harm. Bengals up by three. Valley View comes back. Kylie Murphy can't get the layup to fall, but that's okay. Gabby Barker cleans up good. Nice to have friends, isn't it? Falcons trailed by one and will be down by three in the final minute. Valley View looking for the tie. Not going to fall. Lewiston edges Valley View 47 to 40. Eagle girls in pink shoes and black jerseys today taking on Highland of the Gonzalez twins who have been with the Terams for well, months, what seems like forever, right? The Eagles struggled early but cut the lead down to five late in the first. Sarah Hinsenberger for two. And then you see right there Johanna Stevens. Well, but it wasn't enough for the, to counter the Gonzalez twins. Feeling cleaning up after that rebound. And then Dakota cherry picking for the twins combined 33 points. That's not too shabby, huh? Highland beats Eagle 47 to 40. Four A girls now Middleton fans cheering on their girls as they take on Madison and Madison's Jane Hansen puts the Bobcats on board with the three ball. Madison up by one. Next trip down the court. She follows her shot, extends the lead with the putback 5 2. Second quarter, Middleton comes alive. Alice, Alyssa Foreman strips the ball, drives the court, and yeah, that's tied up at 10 apiece. And the second half, all Vikings, DeRay Tullock battles inside for the bucket. Middleton ends up with a victory, 40 to 31. You can easily see every game of IdahoSports.com. Former Channel 2 reporter Vince Tromboli calling the Weezer and Snake River game. Marquetta Palmer. For two of her team high, 13 points lead down to six points. Snake River, meanwhile, did barely enough to get the lead, keep the lead safe. Jocelyn Harper led the way with a dozen. Weezer had plenty of chances to get back into this game. But the Wolverines missed all but two of its final 17 shots. Snake River bites Weezer 32-25. Melba hoping to make their way to the 2A tournament, or onto the 2A tournament semis against North Fremont. Melba jumps out early thanks to Bailey Helm. Her bucket puts the Mustangs up by seven. North Fremont's Alyssa Hawks cuts that lead with the three ball right there. Then the Huskies' Emily Trosen takes over back to back triples. E puts North Fremont on top, and later on, more from Trosen. But this time on defense, she steals it, goes coast to coast, and then insult to injury, hoop plus harm. Huskies, they win 59-35. Class 1A D1 matchup between Liberty Charter and Lockway. The assistant coach, Rebecca Miles, well, she is very excited. Apparently, it rubbed off on her team. Miss Spencer ends up with it, lights it up right there from three-point range, and Lapway Lap is in control. And then Miles did her part in the paint. She, Pretty darn good, and it worked out well. Later on, Miles, same spot, same shot. This is not a replay. <laughs> same result. Lapway takes down Liberty Charter, falls 58 to 36. And Tri Valley and Carey doing battle in 1A D2 quarters. Victoria Branch he helped out Tri Valley early on, working it inside, hitting the bucket for two. But he also found offense from outside, just as Sky Southwick. She sinks the three ball corner pocket. Tri Valley led by 11 at the half, but Carey takes control in the second, and they win it 46 to 37. And would you believe that we have more games tonight? I was going to say, already a yeah. busy day. This is about a week's worth of coverage, but uh, you're not done yet. <laughs> oh, no, not at all. I think we've got, we've got half done. 